shine. See, some folk don't mind you getting up, but they don't want you to talk like you got any confidence in Christ. <laughs> they call your confidence arrogant because they don't understand. It's not that you are confident in yourself, but you're confident in the one who still whispered in your ear to arise and get up. And God is saying, I don't want you just to get up, but baby, I want you to shine. I want you to flaunt what I've been doing for you because it's your testimony to somebody else. He says, you overcome by the words of your testimony and the blood of the Lamb. He wants you to know, beloved, if you never tell anybody that you struggle with being homosexual, but God bounced you back from it, how can God use them? If you never tell anybody that I've been baptized and I'm saved, then God says, you're being ashamed of me, and I'll be ashamed of you before my Father in heaven. God says, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know you don't want anybody to know that your car was vetoed. I know you don't want anybody to know that your house, you've been evicted from it. But God says, says that if you just testify, that even though I've been through some stuff, and even though I had some setbacks, the place you're seeing me in right now, that's my comeback. The things you see me with right now is part of my comeback. I know you think I'm riding good and I got a good job, but you're not because of my decree and it wasn't because of my good looks. It's because I had a setback and the glory of God showed up. God said, don't only just get up, but I'm going to help you shine. I'm going to give you a job and a business that you have no degree for. I want you to know because I want you to shine. Is there anybody in this house that wants to shine?